Golda Meir was known for her many accomplishments in politics surrounding achieving the state of Israel and being an early leader of the country. She was born on May 3, 1898, in Kiev, Ukraine, and died on December 8, 1978, in Jerusalem. In 1906, when Golda was eight, her family immigrated to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. While there, she attended Milwaukee Normal School, now University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. She also became active in the Milwaukee Labor Zionist Party, which she became a leader in. In 1921, Golda and her husband moved to Palestine, where they joined the Moravia Kibbutz, an Israeli commune. Golda became their representative to the General Federation of Labor, secretary of the Women's Labor Council, and a member of its executive board. She certainly knew how to keep busy and fight for what she believed in. In 1924, Golda and her family moved to Jerusalem. From 1932 until 1934, she served as emissary to the United States. She was very active in fundraising in the U.S. to help cover the costs of the Israeli War of Independence, and even became one of the State of Israel's most effective spokesmen. Thanks to the efforts of her and her fellow Jews, Golda Meir was able to sign Israel's Declaration of Independence on May 14, 1948. Later that same year, she was appointed minister to Moscow. Golda was also elected to the Israeli parliament in 1949, where she served until 1974. While serving, she heavily supported the policy of unrestricted Jewish immigration to Israel. She decided to retire from foreign ministry in 1966. However, this wasn't anywhere near the end of her political career. Not long after retiring, she became Secretary General of the Mapai Party. After her predecessor's death in 1969, Golda Meir was elected the fourth Prime Minister of Israel and the first woman to ever hold the position. During this time, Golda tried to arrange for a peace settlement in the Middle East through diplomacy. After Golda Meir's death in 1978, it was revealed that she had struggled with leukemia for 12 years. Despite this, she was still able to make admirable efforts while serving in government to help build and protect her country.